Dr. Ferrer, I know this is a hard question to answer, but what is the future going to look like for us, at least in the short term? Are we going to be wearing face masks still at Christmas? Do you think there will be high school graduation ceremonies and weddings in a few months? It's such a good question, um, and I, I'm very hopeful. I mean, obviously, you know, here in LA County, we have already vaccinated uh, almost uh, 2.7 million people, uh, and uh, about 700,000 folks have actually gotten their second vaccine fully vaccinated. And uh, as uh, Mayor Garcia noted, we have uh, 511 vaccination clinics uh, set up across the entire county. And we're probably vaccinating somewhere upwards of 65,000 or more people a day here. And that's the hopefulness. Um, you know, the more people that we can get vaccinated, the quicker we can get people vaccinated, the more we have increased supply uh, that allows us to really run all of our sites at full capacity, the more hopeful I think it is for us to look forward to a more quick return to some sense of normalcy. Well, it's good to hear that. I know a lot of it does depend on us and, and how we handle the next few months. Mayor Garcia, so many cities and counties across the country are dealing with the economic fallout of the past year. You just announced a recovery plan totaling more than $150 million. Is that going to be enough to get your city back to post-pandemic levels? Well, we, we are very grateful to um, our federal partners, uh, our county partners, our state partners, uh, to put together the resources to ensure that we have a really strong economic recovery. Uh, the resource, resources are needed to expand services, uh, whether it's around violence prevention, uh, certainly around COVID relief, uh, to reopen schools. Uh, so these plans and ours in particular are critical to getting the economy back. And, and at the center of that is direct relief to small businesses and to workers to ensure that as, as this economy reopens, they have the support to rehire folks and get back to work as well. I just have one more question for you both. Um, having gone through an unimaginably difficult period the last 12 months. If you could do one thing differently, uh, what would that be? Mayor Garcia, I'll start with you. Oh, man, that's a tough question. Um, one, one, one thing differently. I mean, I, I think that uh, looking back, I think if we could do one thing differently as a, as, a, as a country is to take masking more seriously faster. And I think that early on, even in those early days of the pandemic, I remember when uh, we began shutting down um, the economy through the governor and here at the county and at the city, uh, you know, masking wasn't even that big of a priority as it is today or even or, or, or has been in the last few months. And I think had we really focused and drilled down on getting everyone masked and ensuring that folks understood that it was the best way to prevent the virus uh, early, I think we could have um, we could have slowed down the virus tremendously. Uh, that's something I hear from a lot of our health experts, but I think that the focus across the country uh, on, on masking immediately, I wish would have happened sooner. Dr. Ferrer, same question to you. It's such a good question. And, and you know, it's hard to find just uh, actually one thing that we would have done differently. I think there are a few things we should have done differently. Uh, the, the biggest regret I have is that uh, we didn't focus enough at the very beginning on uh, understanding that as with so many other health outcomes and diseases, disproportionality uh, was easily going to rear its ugly head if we didn't take uh, really a significant action from the very beginning. Uh, we should have uh, really been ahead of the fact that, you know, we did shut down, uh, except for essential workers, and uh, there were millions of them in LA County, and the vast majority of them uh, ended up have, being our lower wage workers, uh, being black and brown workers. Uh, and they didn't really have a lot of protections. Uh, and we weren't paying enough attention uh, at the beginning to the impact that that was going to have in their communities and in their families. And that chain of transmission has been very, very hard to break uh, from the very beginning.